Hello, welcome to The Wrestling Show. I'm Doc Allen. Happy New Year's, if you're watching this in 2022. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this unboxing video. This is a new order from HighSpots.com, who are again not sponsoring the video. And this purchase was a grab bag of, I believe, 10 random DVDs. And it's the mixed option, so there could be some ROH, some PWG, some uh, international, some indie, and some shoot interviews. And I did not pick any of them out. It's going to be a total surprise. And since I was making a purchase from High Spots, I was able to do their fall special yet again, where they send a TNA tote bag full of random stuff. So uh, lots of cool things in here to unpack, hopefully. So, um, yep, yeah, once again, the TNA bag. <laughs> and it's the uh, 2010 logo. So I, again, have to wonder how many of these are laying around their warehouse. I think I'll save this till the end um, and see what they have for DVDs first. Um, oh, or, so yeah, I definitely see. So the first item is the Wrestling Revolver Pancakes and Pile Drivers sets in the series. This one is from 2017 and it was part of WrestleMania weekend. Actually, now that I'm looking at the card in the back, I think I do have this one. So, that's okay. I can gift this. Next we have... Oh, boy. <laughs> we have Debra. And this is... Ooh, this is going to be a, a hot button one. It's about domestic violence. So, she's going to talk about the dirt between her and Stone Cold Steve Austin and shed her perspective on the Chris Benoit tragedy. Ooh, boy. Grab some popcorn and settle in for what could be a rough viewing that may, might leave me not wanting to spend too much money on Austin merch. Oh, speaking of lighthearted viewing, up next we have a shoot interview with Mike Awesome, who committed suicide some time ago. So, uh, this could be interesting, but again, could be <laughs> a rough viewing. Uh, High Spots really wants me to have a feel-good evening of wrestling. Oh, cool. Next, we have a Bar Wrestling DVD, which um, might have been Joey Ryan's promotion. So, uh, I guess I'll have to do some separating the art from the artist on this. But the card looks pretty good. It's got Jeff Cobb versus Willie Mack, Penta L Zero versus Brian Cage, um, Taya Valkyrie versus Shayna Baszler. So that that's an interesting match I didn't know existed. And um, it does have a world's cutest tag team match, which does mean there's some Joey Ryan, but hmm, you could skip that one. Love the cover, by the way. <laughs> what do we have next? All right, we have a. Tammy Lynn Stitch interview. Stitch interview. Old school with Steve Carino. All right, well, at least she's still alive and well, so that one won't be too depressing. Next we have, oh, an FIP DVD. And I don't have this one. This is New Dawn Rising. And the main event looks like it's Austin Aries and Homicide versus Brian Danielson and Rocky Romero. And it's got CM Punk versus Puma. And those seem to be the highlights. Oh, neat. I have a small P, uh, FIP collection, so this is the first addition to that set in probably a decade. Uh, next we have Gentleman's Choice, a Mickey Grant film. Oh, and this looks really interesting. This is... Um, this is about Gentleman Chris Adams, and... I'm not sure if this is the same documentary that we reviewed at the wrestling site some odd years ago. Um, and again, another wrestling tragedy, so High Spots really wants me to <laughs> uh, 
have a sad night. This kind of reminds me of when I worked at Best Buy as a cashier. And one time I had this woman come through my line and she was buying Schindler's List and the Passion of the Christ together. And I just remember thinking like, ooh, you have a you have a blockbuster night of movie watching ahead of you. Oh, good. This next one is Evolve 11, which I ordered the iPay-per-view of some... Well, when, when it aired live, and I haven't watched this since. Um, and I think my Evolve collection goes up to Evolve 10, so I don't have this one. And I'm really excited to actually own a physical copy of this. So, awesome. Um, two more DVDs in here. Oh, okay. We have uh, Paul London's King of Flight, which is a pretty neat one-night indie tournament. Um with guys like Ricochet and London, of course, and the Young Bucks, Rich Swan, Amazing Red, Samurai Del Sol, Air Fox. I have this one already, but um, if I didn't, this would be quite the get. So I'll gift this to someone. Last DVD, and it's the Ring of Honor Aftershock Tour. And I do not have this DVD either. This is from the summer of 2015. And its main its uh, main event is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Adam Cole, so that's quite the get. Um, other highlights we've got um, Okada and Rapongi Vice against the Briscoes and Hiroki Goto, and um, that seems to be the big stuff. There's also a Red Dragon match they face off against the House of Truth. And Jay Lethal faces Roderick Strong, and The Addiction faces the Young Bucks. So this was, this looks like a good show, on, on paper anyway. Some of the Aftershock tour might be one of those deals where, like, it look, the card looks more impressive on paper than the matches actually are from, like, a effort, or, you know, what looks like could be a five-star match, they might have just set out to have a three-star match. Sometimes that's the case with these tour shows, but... I don't have this one, and I'm really, I'm really pleased to have it, so, good. So that was the grab bag, uh, but I think Evolve 11 and the Ring of Honor show are the big hits, and uh, I'm happy to have that. Alright, we have a card advertising some high spots happenings. So without further ado, let's get to the TNA bag. So usually these have, um, they sometimes have a DVD. There's sometimes, well, there's almost always an 8x10 signed, and um, sometimes there's like a flag or a Hogan bandana. So, and I'm, I'm not, actually, I'll start there because it's another Hogan bandana, not the same one as last time. Last time I had like the gold one, this one is silver. So, they probably have a thousand of these sitting around their warehouse. Just looking to get rid of them. That's okay. Uh, there's a DVD. And, oh, it's the same one that I got the last two times. The Professional Wrestling Federation. That's okay. I know somebody who will take this from me without too much fuss. Um, and you got a sticker. This one is Hollywood Hogan for President. So, retro WCW sticker. Uh, we got a DX necklace, which I got last time, too. So, might have to space out these orders a bit more. Alright, then we got a little magnet, so this will go with my other ones. This one kind of looks like Roosh. Um, he's the first little uh, Lucha magnet I've gotten that isn't masked. Uh, I'm more excited about this than everything else so far in this TNA peg. And last but not least... It's another signed Mojo Rowley picture. So the same one from last time. So uh, I will have to space these out a bit if I keep doing them. But that's it. Alright, so overall the um, the $10 grab bag was a bit of a downer. Because uh, a lot of redundant items. But that could be my fault for ordering another one so soon after the last one. Um, but the DVD grab bag was fun. So... Thanks a lot to High Spots. Uh, consider sending them, giving them your business. And uh, if you haven't been over to the wrestling site lately, go check it out. Um, 
Eric should be back from vacation soon, and he should have some updates coming. Uh, check out my new Twitter, at DocAllen, D-W-S. And um, also, we're now a part of the One Stop Wrestling family. So if you head over to their website, you'll see links to this YouTube series and other podcasts and YouTube channels, um, including Chelsea Green and Matt Hardy. So take care. Thanks for watching. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Mm -hmm.